Amelia. Today I'm here with product designer Rich to learn about testing baseball equipment. So what goes into testing catching equipment? The testing and catching equipment is actually pretty new. Um, for years when we developed a chest protector for a baseball catcher, we just would do the best we could by listening to the players to make them a piece of equipment that made them feel safe and let them you know, play their position well. Now, because there were some doctors who have discovered ways to measure the chest protector uh, in order to keep people safer, we now have a way where we can shoot baseballs at the chest protector and measure the amount of force that's coming through it so that we know for a fact whether somebody is going to be safer than they were before. This is one of our newest chest protectors that's going to be available starting this fall. And uh, the key aspect of this is adding extra protection in the chest area so that your heart and your rib cage and everything can be really safe if it were to get hit by you know, a baseball that was thrown or hit. Um, there's some other cool things about it, like the way that we design the sides. It helps it you know, fits really well and wraps around you. The way that the stomach is angled, that helps when you block a baseball, that it would land right in front of you because the catcher doesn't want the baseball to just go flying off into the field somewhere. Yeah. And then we have the throat protection here. This has a, a little reinforcement in it, so that if the ball were to come up high, you're not gonna get hit in the neck with it. So I heard that you have an air cannon that shoots baseballs at this. Can we go check that out? Sure, we can do that. So this is our new test setup for testing chest protectors. Um, this is something that didn't exist until about a year ago uh, when the new safety standard was created. So our test dummy here is roughly modeled after uh, about a 12 to 14 year old boy. And the way this foam and everything behaves, it's meant to mimic what would happen uh, if you hit a human chest with a baseball or a lacrosse ball or you know anything else um, to see what kind of force would go through into your body. So there's three devices in here that measure that force and then send that information to the computer. And over here, we had to create some software that will read that information from the test dummy and report to us what's going on. We can fire a baseball into the bare chest, see what the force would be from that baseball, and then we can put a chest protector on and see how much it reduces that force um, so that we can keep players safer. I have to put our ear plugs on for safety. Three, two, one. There's three measuring devices in there. This one in the middle here, that's over the heart area of the test dummy. This is just what the impact looks like uh, in time, the force going through to the dummy. And this is what the value of that was. So that was uh, 150 pounds. That's going to hurt. If we add our chest protector, three, two, one. So now you can see here, the sensor in the heart measured only 68 pounds, where with the bare chest, it was over 150. So we've cut that amount of force that would be going through to where your heart is by more than half. So this is down to a safe level, and we know that somebody who's wearing this would have a much lower risk of being injured if they were to get hit with that same baseball.